Hello everybody, Eric Apricot here. The one of the big changes to the Warriors playbook has been the addition of the Spain stack pick and roll. Here's a quick review. This play was popularized by the Spanish national team. We have the ball handler and we have someone setting a screen, but in a Spain pick and roll, someone else comes to screen the defender of the screener. Here, this second screen makes the defender go the long way around. So it takes him longer to recover to Garuba, the roller. And then there's a nice little passing lane and Garuba with the finish. So the Warriors have been running stack all year, but I've never seen it run quite as cleanly as against the Blazers. This is the platonic ideal of what it's supposed to look like. Trace Jackson Davis coming up to set the first screen. Brandon Pajemski right behind him to set the stack screen. Trace does set the screen, but Chris Paul immediately rejects it. CP has his defender trailing him. The help defender here, he has to rotate to stop Chris Paul's drive. And he's signaling to his teammate that someone has to switch to take his man Pajemski. Now two men have gone to Chris Paul. In the background here, Pajemski is setting the stack screen so Trace's man is completely nailed by the screen and Trace goes free good pass by Chris Paul now it's really rough times for Portland these guys had followed Chris Paul this guy had been nailed by Pajemski this guy has to help off Moody which doesn't feel good this guy has to help off charge which doesn't feel good so Trace just gets a free runway he takes off pretty far away from the basket but he just stretches and makes it count. Can't resist talking about one last play. In this play, things get scrambled in rotation so that Trace Jackson Davis ends up having to close out on Thibel. Thibel puts up a shot that is faded to miss. Reasonable contest from Trace. And when you contest a three-pointer, if you see that the shooter is just admiring his shot, then you know you're supposed to just beat him down court. The ball ends up going to Pajemski because he's just a rebound magnet. And now this is a race. Trace versus the smaller guy who should be faster than him. This is just a straight foot race. They're even right here. Trace has the advantage of acceleration and immediately gets a half step on him. Kevon Looney has a lot of great parts to his game, but he could never outrun a defender like Trace is doing on this play. Pajemski sees this all the way. Once he sees that this defender stepping up, to stop his drive, he realizes he can sneak a pass through. But instead of pitching it over the top like a normal human being, Pajemski goes for the overhand bounce pass between these defenders. Trace has opened up quite a lead here. It's pretty impressive for him to be out sprinting his defender like this. Good catch and bah. I think this bounce pass might be unnecessary, but you know basketball is unnecessary, so I approve. Scoot Henderson actually is reacting to this, but Pachemski just sneaks it underneath the arm. One thing about Trace is he's got good court sense and good reflexes, so he often catches these unexpected passes. All right, let's wrap up with a quick celebration audit. When Brandon Pajemski hit his first NBA three, he came up with this celebration. There are some problems with this. First of all, the three is very hard to see. Second of all, kind of looks like it's a cross between a three and injecting himself saying that he's got ice in his veins. I'm not really sure ice in the veins makes sense for a three unless it's like a really clutch situation. I mean, it was sort of clutch for Pajemski because he did miss like his first 25 threes in the NBA. But in any case, I think this is a pretty hard celebration to parse. So let's see how Pajemski has worked on his celebration game in the meantime. All right, so the latest Pajemski three celebration, he's got the good looking three gun and that would already be an improvement, but look at this move. He brings it up to his lips for the kiss. I'm actually a little bit concerned about the gun safety of kissing the muzzle of your own three gun, but at least visually this miming is more clear. So we deem this acceptable improvement.